She will give birth to a son, and you're to give him the name. God saves. Do you know every time somebody said Jesus' name, it was literally like saying, hey, God saves. Hey, there goes God saves. That's what Jesus means. He said, you're to give him the name God saves. Watch this. Because he will save his what? His people from their sins. Christ fellowship, there is the reason he came. He came for people. There's the reason for the season. You ever hear people say Jesus is the reason for the season? How many of you have ever heard that? Yeah, Jesus is the reason for the season. That's kind of neat, neat to say, but it's not accurate. Jesus is not the reason for the season. You are the reason for the season. In fact, I want you to write this down as B. Write this down. I am the reason for the season. Would you write that down in your outline? Would you say it with me? Even if you're not sure you believe it yet. Would you say it with me? Okay. Would you say, I am the reason for the season? I am the reason for the season. Again, I can hear some of you not convinced. But just say it. Just, just humor me here for a moment. I am the reason for the season. Now, again, I see some of you pushing back on that. But you see, people are the reason for the season. Messed up people, fallen people, sinful people, broken people. We're the reason for the season. Now, don't get me wrong. Jesus is the focal point of the season. He is the one we love and adore at this season. But let me tell you something. Jesus is not the reason for the season. Jesus did not even need Christmas. We needed Christmas. The only reason there is a Christmas is because John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. He so loved people, messed up people, can't get their act together people like you and like me. He loved us so much that he came to us. Think about it, folks. If we weren't so messed up, there wouldn't be a Christmas. Kind of makes you glad that, that we're messed up, right? I mean, turn to your neighbor and say, thank you for being messed up. It wouldn't be a Christmas if you weren't so messed up. But you see, folks, listen, here's the point. Christmas is about people like you and me, made in the very image of our God, who long to be with our God. But because we are sinners, we could not come to him. So you know what God did? He left heaven. He stepped across the stars, came to the planet Earth to show us mercy, to show us kindness, to show us goodness, and to show us his love. Aren't you glad that our God came to us. That's a little bit of unwrapping Christmas, but listen, I've got to take off some more paper. Because God is not the only gift of Christmas. Write this down as number two. God's presence is the gift of Christmas. 